Yes, what's happening, print fam? It's your boy Cam. Welcome to the print life. Roll the credits. I was desperately looking for the words to describe what this table makes the outside of the building look like, and this is what he came up with. <laughs> Fucked up. It's not that bad. Later, bro. Hi, guys. Uh, say bye to Jesse. You guys may remember him from very early vlogs. He hasn't been around much lately. Backpack 2.0. But I have my concerns wearing it around because uh, I just pictured a cop driving down the street. It takes a look over. Got my non-alcoholic sixer in my hands. Looking real serious. It's not a good look. You're running. You know what I'm saying? You're running. I mean, I don't know where you're running to, but you're running. You're running somewhere. And the whole time, all your shit is secured to your body. We're good. See, that's the thing. You're trying to do one thing and then the phone rings. Very hard to manage a shop all by your lonesome. Very, very difficult. Very difficult. Here we go. Thanks for calling Monument. My name is Cam. How can I help you? Yeah, sorry. I couldn't be more help. Take care. Bye. We have got to get that 12 piece in under Thing going we got to do it we're just missing out on too much business the problem that I've always ran into with 12 pieces or less after you've interacted with the client worked with them did all that stuff it barely pays for itself it's like you have to have a constant stream of them and you have to have a dedicated person dealing with it but it's like you need a certain amount of volume for it to be worthwhile but I'm I am and you guys are probably as well missing out on a huge market because I get as of right now, it seems like I get two to ten calls a day for something under 12 pieces. Okay, Jesse just got in, so he's going to take over setting up the screens that I started right here. My one and only concern right now until it's done is laying out the pages, the, the UI for the front end of the new site that we're building. And I gotta take, I gotta take this backpack off. I just wanna be clear, I'm working on the front end, but I can't put it out there. I can't put it in the vlog, cause it's a secret project. If you know what I'm talking about, then you're a true member of the print fam. Congratulations. This one goes to those. Right now, we, we normally have our flash here, which is directly across from the printer, which is cool for the most part when we're doing standard jobs, but now that we're making it a shop standard to do the matting stroke on white underbases, the cord is only long enough to bring it to here, but technically we need the flash to be right here so that the printer can work here. And as soon as he brings it from under the flash, you can do the uh, the matting down hit. Yeah, I haven't come up with like an official term for that. I, we call it the flattening stroke, but I mean, what you're doing is matting down the fibers in the ink, so it could be a matte hit, flat hit, flattening hit, smoothing hit, smoothing print, smooth print. There's a million ways to. Yeah, I'm putting in my time here, making sure that this thing is lined out perfectly. Okay. Gotta tell you, designing the layout of a user interface is time consuming. I am excited to share what I've come up with so far and then get your input on any changes that need to be made or things that can be improved, especially on the client side user interface. Dude, everyone's sending me stuff. You got a video everything? Yeah, I'm doing that whole YouTube the channel. Vlog? Yeah. You haven't watched it yet? 
I got presents. Every day is Christmas around here. Just unexpected presents. Just showing up. Every single day. Show enough, they showed up. Yes. Uh, got another present, guys. Let's start this time. Oh, God. Well, I didn't realize this because the first ones I bought, um, Advanced Screen had already included the blades in it. But our friends over at Easy Squeegee sent me the new and improved updated squeegee with the flood handle. Because that was one of the problems. You would do the print, but you couldn't do the back flood. So it's included in it now. Oh, I see. So just because we don't have any extra blades, so just pop the blades out of the old ones, throw them in here. Okay. And let's see how you like them. He's the one that gets his hands dirty every day of the week. So I would say that, so in my opinion, the real sign off the easy squeegee needs is from Mr. Jesse, not from Mr. Cameron. We'll come back and talk to him in a second. Yeah. Can you sign off on this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Woo! It's uh, 325 and I've been cracking away at this UI all day. I got one, two, three. I got about f three pages done, but they're all half done. I'm doing like a, a vague layout. And then I'll go back through and start really refining the margins and stuff like that. But I'm making progress. Jesse is doing his thing. I got, uh, we, there was some, uh, I didn't even realize that we, there were some, can you see that? There were some problems with the local produce t-shirts. Like three of them had this weird bleeding thing going on. So we got to reprint them. So I got to let him know that... Uh, we'll have them done by tomorrow set in stone yet But I do kind of have a little bit of an update in regards to that flash dryer that Chinese quartz Cheapo that we bought a little while ago did a video about it. It seems like it's underpowered It's safer to use it right because it has the auto on off feature but sometimes Under cures them and you have to, so Jesse's found that we have to pump that thing up sometimes not always but to like 22 seconds or 19 seconds and shit so that sucks. Uh, we're testing it, we're still messing with it, but that's not a good feature. It's cool when you're doing the loading thing and everything like that, but when you're trying to do like your overprint colors and stuff, waiting 19 seconds for every flash, that's, that's fucking horrendous, man. So we're still testing it out. Uh, I have the suspicion that maybe they just weren't preheated long enough. I don't know, it doesn't look good though. I had one misprint, Gassi. Trying to see if we got any in stock here. Probably a fuck not, but. Nothing. Come on, Jimmy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to see if there's at least a fucking medium in here somewhere, dude. Found a medium. Won't be super happy with it, but it'll work. Jesse just uh, reminded me that he did his taxes. He got a huge return. Uh, I gotta do the business taxes, but that usually means that I get to pay, but I gotta get that done. But also this year I was actually pulling a salary and paying taxes on it, so I'll get a refund too. Nowhere near what he's getting. I ain't even gonna tell you what he's getting. <laughs> Need to have some kids, man. <laughs> Last year, year before that, I always pulled an owner's draw, so I was taking a salary based on the profit or lack thereof that the business had, you know, for the end of the year or the quarter or whatever. This year, I actually pulled a, 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 like a legitimate salary and I paid, uh, paid taxes on it, uh, paid into Medicare and all that shit. So I should get a refund as far as that goes. Thanks for calling Monument. This is Cam, how can I help you? Hey, what's up, man? I need to find out exactly what time my flight leaves tomorrow. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, Jesse, we're pulling a long one today because I'm leaving tomorrow at 11. I thought I was leaving at like 6 p.m. So, yeah, dude, we'll have you get all that shit done and then um, 
I'm just gonna cut your check tonight. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The itinerary, I, I don't know why I thought it was gonna be different than that. I uh, leave Phoenix 11.15, we arrive at the Long Beach Airport, I don't know, at 11.50. So that's the thing. So Sunday though, we don't leave till 7 p.m. So technically, I can get there, get to the hotel, and I can kind of go hang out that first evening maybe. Hmm, I don't know. Fuck it, I'm just gonna wing it, dude. I'll see how I feel. Have noticed by now, after like watching 150 or so of my uploads, uh, I hate making plans. I despise plans. <sighs> poke out here and help Jesse with this job uh, just to double or just to make double sure that, th that these uh, fibers are matted down it's oh, it's at 708 so we should already be closed but we're not yet what else you got to do just coat screens yeah coat screens and there's a couple squeegees and then he's got to clean the squeegees and then he'll be out of here Checks printed. Uh, as soon as Jesse's done coating screens, he'll be out of here. I'll shut it down. Got to start packing, getting my shit ready, cause I fly out of here tomorrow. Flight leaves at 11, so uh, you know I'll probably be at the airport by like 10. No, probably nine. They say two hours early, right? Yeah, two hours. I have to raise these boxes off the floor, cause just in case it rains while I'm gone. The shop floods. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah, man. So uh, definitely on Monday. Monday morning, same time. Later, bro. Yeah. You guys, I know I was supposed to, but I completely fucking spaced asking Jesse what he thinks of the squeegee, of the easy squeegee. I'll get to it on Monday, I promise. It's a uh, space cadet. What can I say? I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. We will see you tomorrow morning, Print Fam. Yeah. Peace out.